Now, on to top trades. So I saw quite a few questions around how do you trade this? Well, one of the main things that I'm always sort of thinking when trying to trade something like this, because the volatility was crazy after we reopened. So once we got to, I'll bring this straight in for you. Once we'd reopened after the 7% limit, the S&P starts to really get a little bit crazy. And <coughs> from that point, it's very, very difficult to trade. What do you do here? Well, you have to wait. Let the market settle down a bit. Let it start to show you what it wants to do. What we see here, 3,000 lot gets traded at double O. So there's interest around double O. Now what you wait for, let the market develop a bit of structure. You can see constantly every time we go down here, it's not really breaking. Now you can play that as a price action thing to buy it straight away from there down around double O and play it on the basis that someone wants it down here, you'll buy it. But more to the point, what we've seen here is fast drop and a bounce. That's a V reversal. Now, the first thought that most people have is V reversal. Well, just buy it down at the bottom of the V. There was nothing to tell you to buy it down here. If anyone's been watching that and anyone replayed this, it was almost impossible. It was so fast down there. And there was 200 lots flying around, 800, 900. There was size flying around. By the time you saw it, it had traded through it. It was virtually impossible to trade. Let the market set up some structure. Let the market show you where it may want to go. If this is a V reversal, what you will typically get is a stage like this, where the market settles, builds some structure. Whenever we talk about some structure, this is the kind of thing you need. You need something that people can actually trade from, people can trade away from. This little box starts to emerge, basically between 00 and 07. That's the bit we're looking for. Out of the box is going to guide the next move. Now this could be out of the box to the upside, it could be to the downside, in which case we're going to get stopped out if you're playing this passively. So you've got two choices here. You play it passive and you try and buy the bottom of this little range. Of course you run the risk of not getting filled, as we just see there. Or alternatively, you wait and you try and play the breakout. You have to be, <coughs> you have to be pretty strong on your playing of the breakout and you have to be quick on it. Because once this breaks, it's likely to be pretty fast. We've just seen a thousand lot come in at around about four and a half, five area. That could be your opportunity. If market's willing and able to trade through a thousand lot, that could be the sign that the buyers are coming in. At this point, this is basically just a battle between buyers and sellers over around about a seven handle range to try and establish whether this is gonna go down next or whether it's going to go up. Here's your structure building. Here's your positions getting accumulated. Once we break that, once we get away from here, some of these positions are gonna be wrong, i.e. the shorts in this example. So once we then get above 07, those shorts start to exit. Nice clear target. You're gonna be looking back to the beginning of the move. So that was 46 and a half. That was where we reopened after the gap down and then flushed to the downside. So that's now your target. Two and a half thousand on the offer here. Fantastic news. That's the kind of thing you want because now if we trade through this, that could be your chance to get long. So we're looking for pace of buying into that. And at the moment, we're not getting it. We're not backing off though. And that's helpful. Now we start to trade into it. If you were quick, you'd be able to get in. And that then sets the move off. So the how to trade it is about structure it's about smaller time frame setups this is a one minute chart and the other really important thing now is now that you've got the trade on not panicking out of it fantastic if you've got onto this trade you are now if you bought it down at double o's in moments 15 20 handles on side just bear in mind how far this market is moving at the moment though and 15 handle winner is not much at all this can turn back in a minute. So the point here being, don't snatch it because it's 15 handles. The point being, if it goes wrong, it could cost you that. Go for your targets. Your target here is up towards 46 and a half. 
This takes a full two and a half minutes to do it. That's not a great deal of time to wait in a trade. In slower times, you'd wait two and a half minutes to get the market to go back and bid for you. So two and a half minutes to get a 45 handle move is not much to ask for. So hold on to it. There we've got a bit of size on the offer. People could well try and front run this to profit take. You can do the same. Little profit take at 29, fair trade. But if we keep on going through, as we blast through it there at 30, the move is still very much on. You can still be thinking about 46 to be targeting. So up into the mid 30s now. Your focus should still be up towards 46. We're starting to get up there now. So 44 and a half. This is where you can start to distribute some offers, looking at sort of 44 and a half, all the way to 45 and a half, 46 area, just to make sure that you're getting out of the trade as well. If we get up there, all right, accidental cut and reverse here, but we do see that we then get a reaction once more from that level. Quick whip back, we eventually push through 10 handles and then come back off again before continuation higher. But the how do you trade these kind of things is not about just price action, jumping, get involved, you know, getting overly carried away with the flashing lights. Let it set something up, let it do something that makes sense, that you can understand, you can plan, you can execute. If you get that, you're open to potentially a 45 handle move in about two to three minutes. It's a fantastic trade, it's just a case of the patience comes in waiting for it to set you something up and then taking that trade.